we back. And man, as you guys know, we are living in times where things like this and these topics are more relevant than ever. And we're living in times where people's more messed up than ever. And uh, to get something in your life that is genuine, brothers, this could go for relationships, friendships, anything. Like I, I, I've said it a million times on this channel, man. Like I don't know what people are doing. I really don't. I don't. I don't get what, how everyone's going so crazy. Like people have to understand, they are the only determining factor of their unhappiness. Women across the globe, unhappy, masculine, miserable, <laughs> going crazy. If you would just chill out and be feminine and let a man make you happy, <laughs> you'd be much happier. I don't know what you're doing. I really don't understand what you're doing. And even being a man, when you come across a feminine woman and you have her in your presence, It's a rare thing today. And it's so rare when you have it, you don't you don't want to get rid of it. You want to you want to keep it and um This is why so many men are going their own way because what I just explained is so rare. They would rather be by themselves than with like a masculine woman or something like that like they don't want anything else in their life. Nothing else. Feminine women do exist. Good women like that do exist. You can get them around you. It's just rare. And if you have it, you keep it. Don't play with it. You won't anyway. If you're a masculine man, you got your shit together, and you, you have a feminine woman around, you're not going to play with it. You're, you're going to want to keep it. And with the rest of the world, have fun. It's what you're gonna think. So this men go on their own way movement has skyrocketed. Women will be single forever. The women that wanna take that kind of route in life and only you know if you're doing it. I don't recommend it. I recommend working on your femininity. I, I, work, I, I recommend you looking yourself in the mirror, understanding who you are and who you've become the monster you become. <laughs> I'm joking about that part, but t to be honest, like you don't want, you don't want that. You don't even want that, but you're that. Like you don't even want that, but you're that. So if I looked in the mirror and it's like, I'm something I don't want to be, but I'm that, and I just keep doing it and I'm that, I'm going to change it. I become who I am today because I focused. I want it to be who I am today and I'm going to keep being the man I want to become. There's people moving in the wrong direction. I don't know what y'all's doing. I don't know what y'all's doing. <laughs> but y'all's doing it. I, I just can't make sense of it. There's, there's a better life if you would just look in the mirror and understand being a triggered masculine person, AKA you're a woman, but you're that is not the answer. Calm down. <sighs> Allow yourself to be feminine. Allow yourself to be girly. Let a man make you happy. They go wrong because they've dealt with toxic men in the past and they just kept going with the flow after that, like, oh my God. And they think all men's that way and they just wanna go crazy and be masculine and try to do everything themselves and it just creates this hellhole of the world for them. Let's be real. Like you can't even, you can't be those things 
and fake femininity. You can't be those things and try to talk sweet to them to a man that you like because you know what he likes, which is a feminine woman. You can't fake that. Your inner masculinity as a woman is going to come out. Your rage inside is going to come out. It will. And no man wants that. And this is why so many women is going to be single and alone forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And you will look back and understand and realize everything you've done every year of your life was wasted. You wasted it. You went on the pursuit for something you shouldn't have even went down. So basically, that, that's, that's why I yell it all the time in videos. You're moving in the wrong direction. Every single day that goes by, you're just moving in the wrong direction. Moving in the wrong direction. Over and over and over again. And no man wants to be around anything like that. It's not even right, bro. Like, we need more feminine women. We need more of that. You don't have to become masculine because of your career. You know, you can be a nice dentist and be feminine. Your career is no excuse to be masculine. In my opinion. But this movement of men going their own way, like I said, has skyrocketed and it's only becoming more that way. And the more certain men date women, like it's definitely bad both ways, but from what I see, like the more men that date women time and time and time and time again and see they ain't right. It just makes them want to date less. It makes them want to try less. It makes them just want to go their own way. There's all this pressure on men to be the biggest, bestest beast ever, and you should. There's just no pressure on women today at all to be great women. They're actually told the wrong things and they actually do the wrong things. It's like, we can't even tell them the truth, bro. Like, even the things I've been saying in this video, it's like, you can't even tell them that. It's the equivalent of saying, we can't tell men to be strong. We can't tell men to be masculine and dominant and ambitious and assertive. We cannot tell women today to be feminine. Like what is going on? There's all this pressure on men to perform, to be masculine, to all these things and everything. But we can't even tell women to be feminine. We can't even tell women to look in the mirror. Because you're labeled a dick. You're labeled something bad. Every time. I'm sure there's at least one person watching this video who's just in a rage right now. And that is irrelevant. Because we are here to save the world. We're here to save lives. We're here so people can live better lives. We're here to tell the truth. This protein smoothie is almost the same color as my shirt I'm wearing right now. But yeah. We can't even tell women to be women anymore. We can't. We can do none of that. And they don't put any pressure on themselves at all. When's the last time you guys heard a female say, I want to be the greatest woman I can possibly be for the best man I can get, for my future family, for my family, for my friends, for everybody. When's the last time you heard it? Because I've never heard it in my life. I've never heard of my life. I'm going to be the greatest man I can possibly be 
for my family, for my future family, for my girl, for even my friends, for everybody. How many women can say that, can, can say those things? And I'll tell you what, your career, your success, your finances does not make you the greatest woman that you can be. Sure, you can have those things. That does not define you as some great woman. You're so successful. You're so financially well off. That don't make you a great woman. You can have those things and still be a great woman, but those things in itself don't make you a great woman. Your character, your femininity, your spirit, all these things is going to make you a great woman. Women today are brainwashed, bro. Women today think their careers and their status and their money and, and all this stuff, their dominance, I'm a boss, da-da-da. They think that makes them more attractive in the eyes of men. They think that's doing something. They think that's getting them closer to what they want in a man. And it's not. Real OGs see that. Real men see that. No chance. No chance. Zero. She don't understand her role. She don't understand how to act. She don't understand how to behave. She don't understand how to make a man feel good. Because she's trying to be one. Without saying that but her actions say otherwise no women will ever say I'm trying to be a man no women will ever say I'm going to be more masculine and successful and all this stuff you're not going to hear women say that necessarily but their actions are doing those things they don't understand how to make a man feel good and their life could be 10 times easier if they understood how to make a great man feel good with their femininity, with their touch, with their personalities, with their bubbly behavior, with their cuteness, with their care, with their nurturing. That will pay you, ladies. That will pay you. You might ask how, how's that gonna pay me? You wanna know how that's gonna pay you? Cause you being those things is going to get you a really good man. What do you think a really good man that checks off the, all the boxes is gonna do? You don't think you're gonna live for free in a really nice home? You don't think you're gonna have a lot of money spent on you over the years? A woman's femininity is more powerful than her forcing herself to be masculine to be successful ever will be. Real women who are feminine, who, who understands these things, gets things effortlessly while all the others are masculine and driven and going crazy and trying to make ends meet and trying to do it by themselves and they can't get a good man and they're mad and... I'm breaking this shit down, but this is why so many men are going their own way. This is why it has skyrocketed because just as much as masculinity is uh, non-existent in men, so isn't femininity. But we don't talk about it. We encourage today, women be more masculine, go to your career and be hyper-masculine and all this stuff and live up to be a man and all this stuff. It's, it's, it's not the answer. They're going against their own nature. And, and, and it's not that you can't have a career. You just have to understand what you're actually doing. And it's as if they don't. They, they bro, they literally think their careers, their money... Their boss lady aura, they actually think that is making them more attractive 
when somebody like myself is looking at you like and smiling. <laughs> the same way they look at certain men and <laughs> he ain't nothing. It's the same thing. They just don't understand it and we don't tell them it enough. I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm telling you guys the truth. It might be the brutal truth. I care what kind of truth it is. I'm here to tell it. Are you listening? Because this is how it goes. I've had the presence of a feminine woman in my life at different points in my life, possibly even recently, like big time. It's literally healing for a man. It makes you feel healthier as a man. And without it, you have more edge to you as a man. You're not as good. You will be at your best with a real, natural, feminine woman by your side in your life, in your present life. It will make you better. And here's the thing. <laughs> Having a woman who is not those things in your life will make you worse. You don't want it. It's going to give you more trouble. It's going to give you more things of what you don't need. It's not going to give you one damn thing you need. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Just like a man who doesn't have a lot going is going to be able to do nothing for a woman. It's the same thing. Oh my God. That's why I'm saying I don't understand how people are messing up so much today. I don't get it. I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know how y'alls are just living y'alls lives so backwards and you don't even see it. The crazy thing is some people see it. They know deep down it's about them. They know deep down they're not really who they should be and they still do it and they keep doing it and they keep doing it and in my humble opinion that is weak no matter who it is it is weak weak there's nothing more attractive to be a human being who is fully in the frame they should be in, whether it be a man or a woman. You could be a very attractive man. You could be a very attractive woman if you're true to your frame. And a lot of people aren't today. A lot of women aren't today. And they want a great man. But have you ever asked yourself, are you a great woman? Do you understand what it takes and what to do? in order to be a good woman. Most don't. Most don't want to hear it. Most don't want to understand it. And the crazy thing is, <laughs> it's effortless. It is effortless. You, they be doing too much, bro. They be doing too much. And they always play the victim card. Oh my God. You're just so intimidated by my success. Blah, blah, blah. You're just intimidated. Da, da, da. And it's a bunch of BS. Nobody is scared of you. Nobody. Nobody wants to be around that. There's a difference. There's a huge difference. At least nobody wants to be around that long term. Nobody wants to live with that. Nobody wants that in their life on a daily basis. Although, you get the right partner 
You get the right man by your side. You get the right woman by your side that is feminine. You don't want to go a day without talking to her. You want her in your life. You want to be present with her. You want to talk to her. You want to be Uh, uh, you you want to be present with, with this person all the time. And it's the same thing for them and us. When they have a man like that in their life, they want to be with him. They want to talk to him. They want to be present with him because it makes them feel good and it will make you feel good as a man to have the right woman in your life. So many people's messing up today. That's why relationships are messing up today is because so many people are backwards. This is the root of the problem. It's nothing else besides that. People's brainwashed, people's backwards, people's moving in the wrong directions, bro. This is a real problem. This is a real pandemic. Wake the up.